Today I'm going to show you how to extract values from raster to points. For example, here I have point data, this ground truth point data, and it has attribute, but I need a value of raster, for example, in this case, a value of elevation from digital elevation model to the point data. If you see the attribute table, in order to open the attribute table, right click on the point data and go to open attribute table. You can see this is the attribute table. It has object ID and name. Uh, this point refers to the land cover down through points. But if you need a value of a raster here in this attribute, for example, for each point, so this row refers to the points. So if you need an elevation value of each point you can use extract values to points or it's called here in QGIS sample values to raster so in order to apply this you have to go to processing then toolbox so in QGIS if you need any tools, you can go to here processing toolbox and search. So this is the search the processing toolbox. If you see, there are quite many categories of processing tools. Whenever you click, for example, in raster analysis, you can get many tools under uh, vector, for example, vector analysis, you can get many tools. So here, the simple way is to search the tool. In this case, I can search like values, sample values, raster, and like that, the key keyword. So in, in, in this case, sample values, or when you click sample, you can get sample raster values, which is under raster analysis. So here, this is sample raster values. This is the recent use. So here, double click raster, sample raster values. Here, input point is ground truth point, raster layer to sample is digital elevation model. And this is a column prefix, which is normally called field name. So you can change the field name instead of R value or raster value to a convenient way like elevation. Elevation, then the sample points, you can save it as temporary or you can save it permanently. So in this case, let's leave it as a temporary just to show you, or you can go to the folder and save it permanently as you want, then click run, then close. Now you can see sample points here listed in the layer panel. If you see the attributes table, you can see an elevation value is populated for each point. If you see the previous one, so this is for ground truth point. And this is for the sample point. So you can see if this one is original point data without elevation value. And this one, the new point data with elevation value. So you can see elevation value for each point. 
So thank you very much for attending. Don't forget to subscribe and like if you want to get more trainings in QGIS.